Hello viewers, this is Well Good Aruna taking you through this tutorial on all level physics and this tutorial are going to talk about the topic of magnets and magnetic fields. So this topic is basically for senior two term three. That means that if you're in senior two, senior three and senior four, this video will be best for you. Now these are the very questions I left in the previous video and I believe by now you have really tried them out and ready to check your progress. So we shall start with question 1 which came from your name 2019 paper 1 of question 42 and part A says what is a ferromagnetic material and I give it one mark. So here we shall say that a ferromagnetic material is a substance strongly attracted by a magnet so if you read that that will be one mark then now we shall go to question part b part b says that describe briefly know that word describe briefly how to magnetize a steel by using an electrical method so these are structured questions so you have to be as brief as possible so here we shall say the steel bar is placed inside a solenoid connected to a source of direct current. So if you wrote that, the word solenoid, that is one mark, placing it inside a solenoid and connecting it to a direct current, that is also another mark. So basically, that's how the two marks could be got. Now we shall go to part C. Part C says, give two examples of non-magnetic materials. So one will be rubber, another one will be copper. So copper half a mark, rubber half a mark. So basically that's how the one mark could come about. So now we shall go to question two. Question two came from UNEB 2019, paper one of question 50. So part A says, what is a hard magnetic material? And they give it one mark. So here we shall say that a hard magnetic material is a material which is not easily magnetized but retains its magnetism for a long period. Alternatively, you can also say that this is a material which is difficult to magnetize but once magnetized, it is difficult to demagnetize it. So if you read that, that would be one full mark so either this or this you get yourself a full mark now we shall go to part b part b says a soft iron bar and steel bar are suspended inside a coil above a container of iron filing as shown in figure seven so this is figure seven so this is a soft soft iron bar is this and also and this is a steel bar these are the iron filings now they say that explain what is observed when switch k is closed so when you close switch a what will be observed when this is closed what will happen so shall say that soft iron bar is a soft magnetic material while steel bar is a hard magnetic material. Therefore, when switch K is closed, induced magnetism in the soft iron bar will be stronger than that in the steel bar when both are subjected to the same magnetizing force. Therefore, more iron filings will be observed to cling on the soft iron bar than on the steel bar. Remember, a soft magnetic material easily magnetizes, but a hard magnetic material takes long to be magnetized. It is difficult to magnetize. So this, basically, that is why when you close this switch, this one easily magnetizes and picks up the iron filings, while this one takes long time takes a longer time to be magnetized so basically that's let's see how mass could be awarded 
So first mark will be for you to know that steel bar is a hard magnetic material and soft iron is a soft magnetic material. Then for this paragraph you get yourself another one mark and the last paragraph will be another one mark. So basically that's how the three marks could be got in this part. So now we shall go to question three. Question three came from UNEB 2013, paper one, question 44. Part A says that what is a magnet, what is a magnetic field? So here we shall say that a magnetic field is the space surrounding a magnet in which a magnetic force is exerted. So if you wrote that, that will be one mark next will be what is meant by magnetic saturation so here shows that magnetic saturation is the limit beyond which the strength of a magnet cannot be increased at constant temperature so now that word cannot be increased at constant temperature so alternatively you can also say that this is as this is the state let's first remove this so just so that this is the state where a magnetic material acquires magnetism to an extent that it cannot acquire any more from the magnetizing source so any of the two definitions is okay and if you wrote that that will be your one mark now we shall go to part C. Part C says that explain why a freely suspended mag bar magnet swings until it points north-south. So in this case we shall say that the resultant earth's magnetic field lines run approximately from the geographical south to the geographical north. Therefore, a freely suspended magnet settles with the unlike poles attracting, hence it points north-south. So basically that's what, what they wanted, that means that if you wrote that first paragraph, that will be one mark and the next paragraph will be the second mark. So basically that's how the two marks could be got. So now we shall go to question Four, and this question 4 was got from 2012 paper 1 question 50 and part A says what is meant by neutral point as applied to magnetic field so you shall say that a neutral point is a point in a magnetic field where the resultant magnetic field strength is 0 so if you wrote that one that would be your one mark now we shall go to part B Roman 1 says in the space below draw a diagram to show the magnetic field pattern due to an iron ring placed in the earth's magnetic field and they give it two marks. So first of all we shall first draw the iron ring now that we have to know the direction of the earth's magnetic field so the direction is in that form as you can see in the compass now next we shall now draw the magnetic field through the iron ring so i think you can realize that no magnetic field is passing through in this inside this ring and therefore that Part will be a part where there is no magnetic flux. So one more mark will be drawing the fields on the left hand side, another one will be drawing the fields on the right hand side. So basically that's how the two marks can be good. Now we shall go to Roman 2. Roman 2 says that state one application of the field of the effect illustrated in B Roman 1. So the application is magnetic shielding stroke fielding to protect sensitive instruments from magnetic fields if you read that that would be one mark 
So now we shall go to question 5 and question 5 came from UNEB 2007 paper 1 question 42 so part A says what is a magnetic field? So we shall say that a magnetic field is a space surrounding a magnet in which a magnetic force is exerted and if you wrote that that will be one mark. So now we shall go to Part B. Part B says that figure 10 shows current flowing in a solenoid. Sketch the magnetic field around the solenoid, clearly indicating the polarities. So the first thing to do is to identify the polarity, which one is the north pole and which one is the south pole. So if you look through the solenoid from this side, you realize that current is flowing in a clockwise direction. Therefore, that becomes the south from this side you realize that current is flowing in an anti-clockwise direction meaning that this is the north pole okay so now that we know the priority we shall come and first put our priority there so that will be the north pole north and this the other one will be the south so now but remember that field lines run from north to south therefore we shall do that so the one which is central and uh, which passes through the axis of that solenoid is unaltered as one sees a straight line. The others will be altered in, this, in that form, both up above that straight line and below the straight line. So basically that is the field lines they wanted you to show and now let's see how marks can be awarded. So I have a mark for drawing the for determining the priority of the South Pole, another half a mark for determining the priority of the North Pole, half a mark for the field on that side and I have a mark for the field on the th north part. So basically that's how the three marks would be good. So I believe you have marked yourself and checked your progress. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave you with other questions of on magnets and magnetic fields for you to try out.
so that brings us to the end of this lesson thank you for watching and be reminded that the solutions will be available in the next video so if you have not yet subscribed please click on the subscribe button below this video so that when the video of the solutions has been uploaded you will receive an update and also if you know of any friend who is not yet on this platform please share the link of this video via the, to them via the social media platform like facebook whatsapp so that we all excel and benefit as a family